if you want to learn how to film quality videos from your iPhone, stick around because I'm going to show you how. Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jen Morella. If this is your first time here, welcome. This YouTube channel is for entrepreneurs, content creators, and bloggers. If you're coming back, thanks for showing up. I'm happy to see you again. Today is all about how to film like a pro using your iPhone. And I am actually filming this entire video on my phone, what? No, can you guys see the quality of this? <laughs> but it is so good, right? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so the point of this video is for people that are interested in filming on YouTube for, with their phone and or Facebook or using Instagram Live. So we're gonna talk about filming in general and just some little bonus tips on what to do for Facebook and what to do for Instagram and how that looks and all that jazz, all right? So before we get into it, I wanna make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified on every Wednesday when I deliver my videos and or don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you really like this video and if you have any questions about any equipment any camera i mean i have so much equipment it's not even funny there's a link somewhere below where you can you know shop around but uh everything that i'll be sharing on this video will be in the description below so you want to make sure that you can get everything that you need now the reason why i think this is really important is because if you are just start first of all all right i want to make sure guys and this is sparkling water not beer relax it's like, I already see those comments coming in. So the reason why I think this video is super useful is because one, like you, you should do Facebook lives and Instagram lives and all stuff. But also if you're just starting like a YouTube channel or maybe you wanna start doing some IGTVs and you really shouldn't spend the money on high end equipment. The only reason I have like equipment, like I have a really small point and shoot. I have a Sony DSLR is because I am a content creator, right? And a travel blogger. So for the very beginning of my business, I was actually traveling and filming. And so so for me, filming from a phone, it didn't give the quality of the video that I needed in order to have the expectation for the client, AKA the brand, right? Also, the phones nowadays have changed completely from where they were five years ago. So the reason why I think this is super valuable is because if you're starting a channel, if you're thinking about doing IGTV or Facebook Lives, you don't need to go crazy. You don't need to have and spend all this money on all this equipment. You can actually use your phone, right? Because this is the thing. These phones nowadays are anywhere between 500 to a thousand dollars. It's a lot of money and it's at the palm of your hand and you don't need all this elaboration. And if you're interested in editing on your phone, I could definitely do a video, but I want to get some likes. So give me a thumbs up. And if I get enough likes, then I will create a video on how to edit video on your phone. But first things first. So using your phone, I highly recommend it because it is very powerful. It's also cost effective. And I think that you shouldn't be spending that much money on equipment if you aren't fully invested in your business or whatever it is that you want to do next. And so I think it's really Really important for you to utilize what you have. I am extremely resourceful. That being said, let's get into it. So this is being filmed on an iPhone. Nothing against Androids. I'm a huge fan of the iDro iDroid. <laughs> the Android phones. I also have one of those too. So you can do this on an iPhone. You can do this on an Android phone. Like it does not matter. So first things first, people are always like, oh, but it has to be quality. Like look at the quality of this compared to my camera. I think that's pretty badass. You guys see, I mean, I have two lights on. Even if I were to bring just one out, it'd still look just as good. People are always saying that quality, quality, quality. And the thing is that quality doesn't matter. I mean, it matters, but not as much as you think it does. What the most important thing is when you're filming is audio and lighting. Okay, so yes, having quality helps and it's a bonus, but the most important thing are audio and lighting. That being said, before we get into lighting and audio and I share all that with you, let's talk about the camera. So like I said, this is being filmed in an iPhone and I wanna show you guys how I actually change the settings. You wanna make sure you're filming in HD and you can change the settings on an iPhone this way. And as you can see in this video, so normally the iPhone is in 30 frames per minute and I changed it. At first I was gonna do 60 frames a minute and then I decided I want to do 4k because I thought that was pretty cool and I want to check that out because that probably looks really good so yeah so I changed it there but that's basically how you get to that and you can do this what you are currently seeing right now the second thing I want to remind you to do when you're filming on your phone clean your lens 
Like seriously, girl, just clean your lens. You wanna make sure you're cleaning your lens, okay? Get all that makeup, all that goo-goo out of there. Cause like, honestly, guys, this lighting is so good. You can see my, oh my goodness. I don't wonder why I'm single. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The other thing I was going to say is yes, lighting, lighting, lighting. Lighting is very, very important. Filming during the day, obviously I would recommend doing it in front of a window where you have, if you don't have a ring light, but you have a tripod, you can film in front of a window. You have really good lighting. That's amazing. However, I do have a tripod, so I use it and I do have a ring light, so I use it. Um, depending on how much money you want to invest, you can invest in a professional ring light, which is a little bit over 150 to $200. Or you can get a tripod like this that I have right here, this little one right here. Okay, you can invest in that. I believe it was like 50, 60 bucks. You can see in the description below. I will go ahead and label that. I absolutely love this tripod. I have spent money on tripods that you like hold, clip on um, ring lights and things like that. And it just hasn't worked. The ring light either dies or it just like literally doesn't work. <laughs> it's very weird. So I really like this one. Really enjoyed, really enjoy using this one. And I use this one for Facebook lives, Instagram lives. IGTV and um, for obviously filming YouTube videos. Okay, and now audio. Audio being the second most important thing. And I think personally, it's actually the first most important thing because if you can't hear what I am saying to you, then what's the point of seeing this video, right? Like, again, I got a pretty face and all, but there's gotta be more to it. So I would suggest removing your phone cover. If you see that it is, it's like kind of covering the mic. If it isn't, mine isn't, so it's totally fine. You just wanna make sure you're very close to it, right? I mean, you don't have to be like in your face, but you don't wanna be like all the way back here talking. Like that doesn't make sense. That doesn't really help or allow you to hear very well. And lastly, the reason I suggest you should get a tripod is because it stops from the handshaking when you're holding your phone. Your hand does get really tired doing that. So having it on a tripod, having the stillness really helps. And if you're filming for YouTube videos or Facebook or IGTV or IG Live, you don't wanna be holding it. It just really isn't practical if it's gonna be a video that's 10 minutes or longer. Now, bonus tip, ready? Listen up, Facebook, you always wanna film horizontal. In fact, every single one of your videos should be horizontal. If you're filming on YouTube with your iPhone, it should be horizontal. Because if not, then you have, when you film on Instagram, you have those like black lines or black screen on the sides. And it just like looks messy. And I, I don't like it, it really bothers me. So, I mean, I, yeah, just not cute, okay? Unless you're filming for IGTV, then you wanna flip it and you wanna film vertical. So there you guys have it. Also, another bonus tip, if you didn't know, if you film horizontal for Facebook, whether it's Facebook Live or Facebook videos that you're gonna post or anything like that, the algorithm actually picks it up and your video will be more likely to be seen simply because it is horizontal and it's just better viewing. All right, you guys, so there you have it. You have all my tips and tricks to filming for YouTube, Facebook, and the gram. Don't forget, the most important thing is lighting and audio. Yes, quality is important, but it isn't as important as lighting and audio. You wanna make sure that if you're filming for Facebook or YouTube, you wanna keep it horizontal. If you're filming for Instagram, you wanna keep it vertical. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. In the description below with the link, so you can go ahead and get yours. And if you guys have any questions, don't forget to reach out and let me know. I'm happy to answer any more tips where you are in your YouTube or your Facebook, or if you're gonna start doing some series, I'm interested, let me know because I'm nosy. Yeah, no, but I do wanna know. I wanna know what you guys are gonna use if you really think you should be investing in a camera. Personally, as I mentioned earlier, I wouldn't invest in a camera unless it is something like, your, it is gonna be your business. Like you are actually going to just do YouTube videos or create content because you're a blogger or something like that, right? So that's just my two cents. I don't think you need a fancy camera to get things done. I just think it's an excuse because y'all scared to be on camera. But also after looking at this lighting, I kind of be scared too. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, have a beautiful and blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, and don't forget to share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.